Brittany Dawn, the influencer that started out in the fitness industry and has moved on to baptizing people at her She Lives Free events. She scammed many consumers with her fitness programs, and now, years later, she's finally being held accountable. Well, we can only hope. As of February 1st, 2022, the Texas State Attorney General is suing Brittany Dawn Davis and Brittany Dawn Fitness LLC for allegedly violating the Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Texas law officials are seeking retributions between $250,000 to $1 million. Will this be the end of Brittany Dawn's scamming ways or is she going to continue to play victim? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Monica. I like to comment on unethical business practices, scammers, etc. with a focus in multi-level marketing. But in today's video, I'm so excited to say that it is finally happening. <laughs> Brittany Dawn or otherwise known as Brittany Dawn Davis, Brittany Dawn Fitness. Uh, yeah, she's getting sued. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. Just as a disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only and just my opinions along with any of the research I was able to do. I do always encourage everyone to do their own research. In addition, I am not making fun of Christianity or religion as a whole in this video. That is not my intention. And while I can't say for sure that Brittany genuinely believes what she's preaching, but I am questioning her sudden shift in making all of her content focused around Christianity. Is she hiding behind this image of a good Christian woman? As someone who grew up religious but left the church, if she's only doing this to play victim and not take accountability, I do find that to be, I mean, disgusting for lack of a better word. People like Brittany Dawn give Christians a bad name, but that's just my opinion. Just so you guys know, this filming setup is very temporary. <laughs> we just moved into our new house and I wanted to get this video out because since I have been covering Brittany Dawn so much over the past uh, almost two years, well, not a lot, but I've made a few videos on her. I feel like I needed to talk about this because this is something that I so badly wanted to happen. I wanted her to be held accountable for what she did. And I think that now the victims, the voices of the victims will finally be heard. So I'm very excited about that. I'm happy that someone finally took notice of this, but like I was saying, this is going to be very temporary. It's just because I wanted to make this video for you guys. Also, I have my daughter and my dogs in the room with me. I know that I say that. I've been saying that in almost every single video as of recently, but for anyone who this is their first video, I just wanted to say that. So if you hear any weird noises, that's what's going on. Like I said, I have covered Brittany Dawn in previous videos and I'll leave those linked below, but there are a few content creators that have also talked about Brittany Dawn and I think that they did a great job. So I'm going to kind of go over those people right now, but B, which is from B Haney. Uh, I think I'm saying that properly. B, I'm so sorry if I'm not. Savvy Writes Books, who lived like Brittany Dawn with RK on their podcast called Your Morning Guru. My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You, Fundy Fridays, and of course, Not The Good Girl. If you don't know anything about Brittany Dawn or if this is your first video, a quick explanation is Brittany Dawn was a fitness influencer who sold fitness programs that were supposed to be personalized. There were complaints about the programs which could cost upwards of $300 and they were over the time span of 2014 to 2017. She tried to get customers to sign NDAs, issued a BS apology, called people who were speaking up haters and then went on a vacation to Hawaii. Since then, she has switched to be a God-fearing woman, which was part of her, I guess you can kind of call it a rebrand, but she is now a Christian influencer. I think that's the best way to describe her. Well, okay, let me rephrase that before people come for me. She was Christian before, but it wasn't part of her brand. She wasn't as loud about it. Brittany also became very passionate about her journey to modesty and staying pure for her husband while well, her now husband, not the good girl, did a great job breaking this down in her video. Let's also not forget about the PPP loan, which she received the amount of $20,000. So that's always um, 
frustrating to say the least. I just recently talked about some troll comments I've received on my last Britney Dawn video and this was just chef's kiss to know that those comments existed but that I wasn't just talking about drama in any of my Britney Dawn videos actually. Britney Dawn, in my opinion, is a full-blown scammer. Some of her followers don't see anything wrong with her scamming ways or they're just giving her a pass because she's spreading the word of Jesus and she's a different person now. I'm not saying that people can't change, but it's just very convenient that whenever Britney Dawn does something wrong instead of take accountability, she somehow turns it into a religious post on social media. I'm going to go over the lawsuit first, but keep watching because I'm going to go over a few things that I haven't gone over in previous videos and I do have to issue a few trigger warnings for this video. This video will contain talk of neglect and the death of an animal, police brutality, and EDs or eating, and then you can figure out the other word. I don't exactly want to get demonetized because I don't know if it's late enough in the video where YouTube will pick up on it. I'll try to put timestamps in the description box for all of these so you can skip around. I'm not going to go over the entire lawsuit because I will leave this link below and the first portion of it, the first couple pages, it just kind of breaks down the scam. It breaks down what happened, the fitness programs, all of that. And it's just what I already said in the beginning of this video when I kind of give you the gist of it. But if you want a more broken down video, I will leave my other videos linked below and I will leave this document as well. So this was filed on February 1st of this year, 2022, and it is the State of Texas versus Brittany Dawn Davis and Brittany Dawn Fitness LLC. The portion that I want to go over is this part that says misled consumers with eating uh, D orders. We'll just say that because like I said, I don't want to get demonetized. Defendant Davis posted videos on YouTube explaining that she overcame her ED through exercise and healthy eating. In the same social media post, she then offered links to her fitness and nutrition plans. Consumers inferred from defendant's videos and links to her website that she had special training to address EDs. One consumer noted that the main reason I chose her, Miss Davis, out of all the other coaches out there was specifically that she advertised herself as an ED soldier. It was incredibly important to me that the person I chose to coach me had an idea of what it was like to deal with an ED. Prior to reaching out to her for guidance, I had battled with arexia, we'll just say that, and at my worst was below 80 pounds. Miss Davis denies that she accepted consumers with EDs, however, consumer documents tell a different story. At least 14 consumers who sought refunds from defendants mentioned EDs in their complaints. One consumer on her initial survey states, I truly need guidance, help, the right information and support right now. I currently have an ED, horrible body image views. I am underweight for my height. Miss Davis's response was, great, welcome to the hashtag Team Brittany Dawn family. Defendants proceeded to provide cardio exercises and low calorie macronutrient suggestions that would only be suitable for someone who needed to lose weight not put it on. Another consumer wrote, when I filled out your new client questionnaire, I clearly stated that I was currently suffering from a restrictive ED and looking to increase my calorie intake. The nutrition plan she received from defendants had a calorie intake significantly lower than what the consumer who needed to gain weight had reported. So of course there's that. There's also that she was charging shipping fees for a digital product. So why would she be charging shipping fees for something that is electronic? But I mean, uh, uh, who knows? So according to this lawsuit, I should have actually said this in the beginning, but the attorney general's office is seeking between $250,000 and $1 million in penalties and court fees. What I will say is that it's very sad that Brittany Dawn was misleading consumers with EDs because she's been very open about being an ED soldier as she called it. She should know how vulnerable one can be and she should have encouraged these customers to seek professional help. I also wanted to mention that in part of the lawsuit, it states, in addition to the lack of coaching or individualized fitness plans, defendants did not customize each consumer's macronutrients at the beginning of the fitness plan. Although consumers answered personal survey questions at registration about their height, weight, goals, and activity level on the promise of an individual assessment, defendants delivered generic macronutrient guidelines to consumers. One consumer found that she and another consumer of approximately the same height had a suggested caloric intake differential of only 60 calories, even though one weighed 140 pounds more. Defendants also failed to provide the adjustments to macronutrient promise for the duration of the fitness plan. One consumer complained she was never provided a macronutrient adjustment. 
Even though she was working out and her body was changing, another was a beginner weighing 200 pounds who almost passed out from inadequate nutrition. Defendant Davis did not respond to her emails asking for assistance. Another consumer suffered extreme hunger and sent email after email seeking help from Miss Davis who finally responded a month later scolding her for not letting her know how bad the hunger was earlier, even though each email explained the issue. If Brittany Dawn really wanted to sell these fitness plans, she should have had a team helping her because she clearly had no idea what she was doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, apparently Scarlett also has something to say, wow. We all make mistakes in life and some of us take on too much work, however most of us, or at least I would hope most of us, will take responsibility for our actions. All people wanted was their money back. They deserved at least that. Maybe this wouldn't have escalated if Brittany Dawn would have just refunded people to begin with. Maybe she shouldn't have blocked people who were commenting on her social media asking about refunds. People might tell me to have a little compassion for Brittany, but everything that has happened to Brittany regarding these programs could have been avoided. I think it's the victim mentality that makes me not have compassion for her. Now I'm going to move on to a few things that I haven't put in previous videos before. They're just things that I guess you could kind of say like updates or things that I have opinions on, but I did just want to quickly go over the lawsuit and kind of give you guys an update that yes, Brittany Dawn is finally, finally, after so many years getting sued and the victims will finally finally, let me say that one more time, finally have their voices heard. And maybe justice will be had too. Maybe they'll finally get their refunds. Who knows? Take a shot every single time that I say finally. But anyway, my last video was about the She Lives Freed event. Someone commented on that video saying that she's another Gwen Shamblin. And sadly, I can definitely see Brittany Dawn turning into the next Gwen Shamblin. If you don't know who Gwen is, Kat from Unlock Nutrition made a great video, but in a nutshell, she started off as a weight loss guru of sorts and turned that into a cult. But her hair, is so 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 ginormous and it definitely got bigger with time so as damien from mean girls would say quote that's why her hair is so big it's full of big secrets end quote there's a lot more to the story of gwen shamblin but that's the best way to sum her up if you'd yeah. like me to do a deep dive into her leave it in the comment section below because her story and the cult is an odd mix of weight loss and cult, but I, I do think that it's kind of an interesting story to go through. Back to Brittany. She was baptizing people at her She Lives Freed event. She actually called it a baptizing party. Are these baptisms going to be accepted and recognized by the church itself? In the past, I have blessed things on my own by going to the church, praying and using holy water on whatever I was blessing. However, I'd never even think of baptizing someone. Why is she even doing this? That's such an important part of someone's life and it's a special and intimate moment for that person. That's why I'm covering the faces of the individuals in these pictures because even though this is a public post, I, I do think that this shouldn't be used as content for social media. It's so much more than that and this is coming from someone who has left the church. In addition, the last few retreats were incredibly expensive, but she's hosting another retreat in April. We'll see how that goes given she's being sued. I'm sure her time will be dedicated to playing victim as she is very good at doing and saying that she's under some kind of spiritual attack. For those of you who may be new to Brittany Dawn, in my opinion, she really likes to play the victim. She did that when the fitness scam hit the fan and after she said sorry in her BS apology video, she followed it up with and addressing the hate video and deleting her apology. Brittany, let's have a little talk here. Being called out for scamming or people asking for mm. refunds is not hate. It's holding you accountable. At least her apology video wasn't the typical YouTuber mm. apology with the no makeup, fake tears, and gray sweatshirt kind of a thing, but her dryer was going in the background, which I know a lot of people commented on, and it's actually funny that I'm saying that right now because my dryer also just went off in the background. I don't know if you guys heard the little jingle. It's a brand new one, and the jingle is way too long, but anyway, sorry, tangent, but let's go over this one reel on her Instagram. Well, I'm going to play it for you guys because it's just the timing is... is I, the, the timing is perfect.
While I was reading some things about Brittany Dawn on Reddit, I did come across some people asking questions about James. In my last video, some people got upset with me that I even mentioned anything about James and how I hoped Brittany Dawn was helping him genuinely and not just using him for content or to make her look like a good Christian woman. If you don't know about James, he was a homeless man who Brittany Dawn posted about and set up a fundraiser for him to get help. He made an appearance on her Instagram a few times and we haven't seen anything about him since. Apparently people have been asking about him and there's been no response from Brittany. So the people who commented about me being too hard on Brittany Dawn about that, clearly my gut feeling may have been right. Until we see some kind of update on James, I'm going to assume the worst because I don't trust Brittany. Something that I didn't touch base on in my last video was Brittany's now husband. Her husband is a former police officer with the Kansas City PD and there was dash cam footage of him attacking a black man. He was sued by the ACLU of Missouri on behalf of the victim because the victim did sustain injuries, but her husband doesn't get any better in my opinion. This next and final portion of the video is going to talk about Brittany Dawn's dog, Brody. First and foremost, you know how some people say, I mean myself included, that we don't deserve dogs? Well, Brittany Dawn really doesn't deserve dogs. If you remember, she had her pit bull Nico, but had to rehome him not too long after she got him. Her reasoning was he was too much to handle because he was a puppy. Did you think having a puppy of any breed would be easy? Not to mention a pit bull, which is a bigger size dog. I mean, when we adopted our pit bull, she was already one and a half years old and she was still a handful, but we knew going into it that it was going to be challenging. Soon after Brittany gave up Nico, she got Brody, who was also a puppy. Why would you give up one puppy only to get another puppy that's going to be demanding is beyond me. And quick side note, does anyone know what happened to her doxy? Because I completely forgot that she had one and I haven't seen anything on her Instagram about what happened to the dog. So if any of you guys know, just leave it in the comment section below. But I feel like that dog just disappeared off of her Instagram. Her husband also got her another dog named Remy at the end of 2020. Anyway, sadly, Brody is unfortunately not with us anymore. I'm going to play parts of Brittany's video and she did get me with this video because I get upset whenever I watch it. I don't get upset for her. I get upset for poor Brody because this could have been avoided. This is probably gonna be the shortest video that I've ever made on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna try to do it without breaking down completely. Yesterday, um, Jordan and I had to run to Lowe's. We had to run to Home Depot. I don't even remember which one, Lowe's. And uh, we were just having to run some errands and I left the pups out because usually they're, they're fine as long as they uh, are not out for like, you know, throughout the night. And so they never, they never get out. Like Remington goes adventuring, but. Uh okay, let me stop that real quick for a second. She says they never go out but Remington goes out and goes adventuring. So which one is it, Brittany? Is it that they never get out or that they do? Because that right there, we're only 38 seconds into her video and already there is a problem. You left your dogs outside while you ran to the store. Um, the road running up to the road has never been an issue for them. And yesterday we came home after we got the stuff we needed at Lowe's and um, turned to the corner onto our street and I uh, I thought I saw Brody the closer we got to our driveway but I, I, I was like that's weird like why would he be at no and then I realized it was Brody and um, I realized he wasn't moving and he wasn't standing and so I jumped out of the truck and um, Jordan didn't even have a chance to realize what it, what was going on and I just jumped and bailed out of his truck and started running towards Brody and um like I wish I just wish I could unsee what I had to see he got hit so hard and there was no there was no saving him it was so bad um and uh, I was a vet tech for five years. Nothing prepares you for having to see your own dog go through that. And um, I just collapsed and thank the Lord, thank the Lord no one was 
driving around that corner because I didn't I didn't care like I wasn't even paying attention it was just like me and I just wanted my dog back and <laughs> these other men pulled over and blocked the road off and um Jordan chased me he, he parked his car and chased me and just grabbed me before I collapsed on the ground and um and, and then took me inside and I just was Brody he was still breathing and, and poor Jordan like he had to he had to rush me inside while the other two men watched and made sure no one else came and once I was inside like all I heard I knew like I knew what was about to happen and, and Jordan like all I heard was this truck rev its engine so loud from the bedroom I could hear it and I know that's when the gunshot went off and poor Jordan had to do that for Brody so that <laughs> so that he wouldn't suffer and um I'm gonna stop it right there don't get me wrong nobody should ever have to go through this with a pet and I feel very very bad that this happened but again oh. I don't feel bad for Brittany because this could have been avoided. I feel bad for Brody. Brody had a very long life ahead of him. I mean, an, unless if there was something wrong with him medically, but if he was a healthy dog, he had a very long life ahead of him and his life was cut short because of the negligence of Brittany. Some of you may say that I'm being very, very, very hard on her, but as a dog owner, as someone who loves her dogs, I have two of them right now. They are actually in the room with me right now. As someone that has two dogs, I would never, ever think to leave them outside while I went to the store. Because another thing too is you don't know if someone's going to try to come and steal your dogs. You don't know these things. And maybe call me paranoid. Call me whatever you want to call me. Maybe I've consumed too much true crime content over the years. But I would never, I would never do that. That's just so negligent in my opinion. So like I said... I don't really necessarily feel bad for Brittany. I feel bad for Brody. But the fact that she didn't even try to go to the vet, just because you were a vet tech for five years, which I didn't look it up before I, I started this video, so maybe she wasn't ever a vet tech. I mean, Brittany Dawn has been everything under the sun, if you ask me. She's constantly doing something new. So I don't know for sure if she was a vet tech. I'm not going to say that she wasn't. I'm also not going to say that she was. But what if because she's all about jesus she's all about god and all of that kind of stuff so wouldn't she think that miracles happen wouldn't she think that hey maybe maybe let's trust let's trust this in the hands of jesus maybe he'll bring brody back let's try to bring him to the emergency vet but no they thought that it was better for her husband to do what he did to the dog my opinion about this is not going to change so if you have a different opinion, you can leave it in the comment section below, but just know that my opinion will not change on this matter. There was no saving him. It was so bad and I'm just so like angry. Like I'm so angry how someone could be so cruel. Accidents happen, but a hit and a run, like no stopping, no anything. And I'm just, <laughs> that dog was with me through so much. Then why did you leave him outside? I'm going to keep reiterating that over and over and over again. Why did you leave the dog outside? Like he literally was my, he was my emotional support animal and <laughs> I have his little name tag on my keychain now because one of my friends recommended it. So now he goes with me everywhere and I got um. Oh, I got some flowers for him and I'm gonna I'm gonna put them by the road today. Nothing fancy, just CVS flowers, but um I miss the little guy. So I'm going to stop it there because I'm not going to keep going. She does a lot of 
pausing and talking and pausing and talking for the rest of the video. We're gonna just keep reacting to the same exact thing if I keep letting it go. But now you guys understand the gist of it. You guys already know my stance and my opinion on this matter, but to make it even worse, after Brody was killed in October of 2021, she got another dog from her husband in December, just two months after. Now, before anyone jumps down my throat, I know many people who got another dog after theirs passed away, and I don't see anything wrong with that. You're going through a hard time and you're grieving. Sometimes the unconditional love that comes from a dog is the one thing that will actually help you grieve and help you feel more like yourself again. I've had dogs my whole life, so I, I understand that completely. The reason why I'm giving Brittany a hard time is because she's a negligent pet owner. She, out of all people, does not deserve pets of any kind. She gave up Nico because he was too much to handle. This could have easily been avoided by researching the breed or just using common sense that a puppy, let alone a bigger breed puppy, is going to be very demanding. Then to get another puppy right after giving one up only to have that one, Brody, be killed and that hit and run could have easily been avoided by keeping your dogs inside when you left. The person who hit Brody might have not even known it was a dog. I mean, Brody did look like a dog, but I've seen how some people drive. A lot of people just don't pay attention. They might have also been afraid to face the dog's owner. I mean, if it were me, I would have brought the dog to the emergency vet and left a note for the owner saying that I'll cover all the medical costs. Maybe that could have helped save Brody if he got to the emergency vet sooner. Anyway, if this was my dog, if Brody was my dog, I would have still brought him to the emergency vet. Who knows, maybe he would have made it and even if he didn't, I could have said, well, I tried my best. The last person who deserves a dog is Brittany Dawn. Well, maybe not the last person because I think that people who breed bait dogs and fighting dogs don't deserve dogs at all. They also don't deserve to walk freely, but that's just me. I know that all of this may sound extreme, but Brittany has proven time and time again that she's negligent. reminder to hug your dogs and love them because we do not deserve the love that they have to give us. So I went over quite a bit in this video and like I said, the lawsuit, the link to the court documents is going to be left in the description box below along with my videos and along with links to the other creators that I spoke about in the beginning of this video that also made videos on their channels. But my final thoughts on this is I'm glad that the lawsuit is happening. I'm glad that she's being sued because these people who never received refunds and some of them were asked to sign an NDA in order to get that refund. But anyway, that's in all my other videos. These people need to have their voices heard. They are victims of a scam. They are victims of Brittany Dawn, in my opinion. So that's something that I just wanted to go over today. And I also wanted to kind of give my updated opinions on other things because Brody was killed after, I believe it was after I made my video, after my video already went up and everything. I wanted to make sure that I talked about that and I also wanted to talk about her husband because her husband, I mean, not the good girl, she went into more detail, so I highly recommend watching her video if you wanna know more about her husband. I did want to go over that and I did want to make a mention of it because I didn't talk about it in previous videos. And that's because I wasn't focusing on Brittany, I mean the first two, I think it was, that information, I didn't know about that information about her husband. And then the last video I was focusing on mostly the She Lives Freed event. So I just didn't get a chance to talk about Jordan in that video. But I did want to talk about it today. And I did want to make a mention of James because that was something that I did go over in my last video and people came for me and tried to say that, oh, she's not, she's doing it out of the goodness of her heart. And I even said in that video that I hope she's doing it out of the goodness of her own heart, but it is Brittany Dawn. And I'm really interested to see how this whole thing will play out. I'm interested to see how much she's going to play victim and how much she's going to say that she's under spiritual attack because let's be honest here, that's exactly what's going to happen. She is going to play victim. That is what Brittany Dawn is good at, at least from what I can see. From my opinion, that's what I can see is that she's constantly hiding behind this facade. She's constantly hiding behind. I mean, she may very well believe 
Christianity and she may very well believe what she's saying but I don't think I can believe that I just that's that's my opinion she has shown time and time again that she's just not a good person but I don't know her personally I have never spoken to her I can only see what I'm hearing from the media so of course I know that the media is going to make things really exaggerated and things like that but after hearing the actual victims of this fitness scam come out and talk about it and talk out against Brittany Dawn I believe their their stories I think that because a lot of their stories are very similar a lot of their stories are I mean they're also a little bit different because some people bought different programs and others I think the reason why Brittany Dawn is someone that I speak about is not just because of her scam but because I almost bought one of her fitness programs and I actually when I was in Beachbody I stumbled upon Brittany Dawn on Instagram I thought she was super inspiring and as someone who has also struggled with certain things that I was doing before with eating and all of that. I saw her account and I found her to be very inspirational. I found her to be fit spell and, and all of that. Because I was in Beachbody, that was the reason why I didn't buy one of her programs because I was like, you know what, I'm in Beachbody, I'm a Beachbody coach, I have to make sure that I do all the things. So that's why I didn't get a Brittany Dawn fitness program. And I'm so glad that I didn't, even though Beachbody was, in my opinion, also a scam, but at least I didn't get duped by two scams at the same time. It was just one. <laughs> so, but that's probably one of the reasons why I talk about Britney a lot on this channel. Anyway, I'm going to finish this video because I just keep rambling on and on and on. And if you've been here for a while, y'all know that I can ramble forever. So I'm going to go, but before I do, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank my patrons and channel members. Dainty, Tuesday the 13th, Maro, Stephanie, Joey, Jen, Rachel and Joy Life, Kat Benson from Unlock Nutrition here on YouTube, Shonda, Savvy from Savvy Writes Books here on YouTube, Kim, Joseph, Ozzy Trady, Kaylee Ann, Katrina, Mikey84, Stephanie, Emily, Saber, Sarah, Miss Mary, Amanda MC from Amanda MC here on YouTube, and Mindy Lynn, also known as Mindy Lynn here on YouTube. And I guess that's all that I have for you guys today. Make sure to like, subscribe, dislike, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. Uh, it's all it's all good here. It's all engagement. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. This is Monica reporting to you live from a highway. Bye.